Hello, and thank you for choosing Bonsai Media Group for your web design, development, and internet marketing needs. Today's video is to introduce you to Basecamp, Bonsai Media Group's project management tool. You'll receive an email that will look like this, stating that you're invited to join our project management system. All you need to do is click this link right here. Getting started is easy. You just pick a username. In this case, we'll pick B Smith. There's already one, so we'll check we'll pick Smith74. We'll choose a password. And then we'll click create your account. Now we're into the project. And this is just a test project but we're on the overview page which is the dashboard and this shows us upcoming milestones milestones are just that they're milestones that help us achieve our project launch successfully so if a project is due on the 16th you can see that revisions are due on the 24th and the design version 1 is due on the 21st all the milestones help us reach our end goal and, and on time so looking back at the overview you can see there's a stream of information that's happened. So John D. has added a comment. It's also added a training log as well as a message. There have been design to-dos that were assigned to Elliot and milestones added to this project. So the overview gives you a broad sense of what's happening on this account. Messages. What messages allow you to do is communicate with the entire team. So instead of sending an email to a designer or to an account manager and having that get lost in their email or not communicated to somebody else on the team, you can add messages right here to the message center and have them sent to the entire team. And here's a quick example. We'll just create a test message. We can attach a file. We can say that it's related to a milestone, although you don't have to select this option. And then we can say who we want this message to go to. And you can say to the entire Bonsai Media Group team. You can preview the message, but we're just going to go ahead and post this message now. Great. Now this message has been posted. So let's see what that looks like to somebody who received that message. They will get an email in their inbox that looks like this. It has the contents of the email as well as the image that was uploaded. Now, I can go directly to that message right from the email by clicking on the link, or I can reply to it from directly within the email. So if I just come here and I click reply, I can reply directly from here. can also attach a file just like I would in a normal email and then I can go ahead and send that email now when I go back to Basecamp everybody else is going to be able to see this communication that's happened between Brian Smith and myself Jason LeBach And you can see that the comment is here, as well as the image that I attached in the email. So that's an overview of messages. I want to skip over to-dos for just a second and go to the calendar. As we said, the calendar is where we set our milestones. Our milestones are major objectives that need to be done along the way of a project to ensure that it is completed successfully. So you can create milestones here by just clicking on a date, selecting the day, and you can even assign who it would be due to. So I'm going to assign it to myself, and we'll just say milestone added. Now, I would get an email in this instance that says a new milestone was added, and it's your job to get it done. Mm -hmm. Now, we can go back to to-dos, and let's say there was a certain to-dos that went along with this. We can create a new to-do list.
We'll associate this to the new milestone, create the list, and we can say get graphics. We can again we can assign it to a particular person. Add that note. Write content. You can add that to the appropriate person. And now what we have is we have milestones and then we have the corresponding to do's to ensure that every single little thing that needs to be done on this project gets done successfully. Finally, we'll take a look at write boards. And write boards are a place where information can be set. It also does versions, so if we want to look at different versions of a document, say for content or what have you. Typically what we use it for is username and password so that way you have one place the entire team can manage any username and passwords that we add say for your website hosting, for uh, Twitter, for an email address, what have you. So that's all going to be there. Uh, and then finally there's files. Files are where you can upload logos or uh, contents in the form of Word documents or PDFs or really anything that the team needs to be successful and uh, that's Basecamp. Thanks again for taking a look over the tutorial. Uh, we encourage you to use Basecamp to ensure that uh, the communication between our teams is effective and your project is completed on schedule and, and successfully. Thanks again, Jason LeBas, Bonsai Media Group.